Hello everyone. Welcome to the first edition of the Mind Body Business Blueprint. If you guys have been following along, you know that I have the Art of Inspiration podcast. And what I wanted to do was bring you some real short and practical tips, three, four minute videos that you can take, watch them on the go, and implement some strategies to start making some improvements in your life. The first video that I wanted to bring to you was the three barriers that are holding you back from greatness and how to break through them. So let's start with the first barrier. The first barrier to greatness is very simple. It's a belief in yourself. Whenever we have a goal that's so big, so large, we sometimes talk ourselves out of it in our head. And I always say to myself that business is fundamentally two things. You have your product or your service, and then you have your sales and your marketing. I'll take a step back from that and say that the first sale that you're ever going to make is to yourself. You need to understand that the difference between people who are good and people who are great at what they do is simply this utter belief in themselves that they can accomplish anything. Think of a child for the first time when he's starting to ride a bike and his parents take the training wheels off and the kid is saying to himself, man, I can't make it. But what's interesting is kids have this somewhat of a fearlessness about them. And so they just get on the bike and they go. Now you've never seen a child walk and, and start to go from crawling to walking and they fall a few times and then all of a sudden they say, well, maybe walking isn't for me. So it's almost developing that kind of playful fearlessness that you can accomplish anything. You have to truly believe in yourself and that is the first step to accomplishing anything that you want. The second barrier that I see hold many people back often is persistence. And there's always gonna be a fair amount of skills that you will need to develop over the course of the years as you're trying to accomplish these big goals. But what I can tell you is that any skill can be learned. It can be a new language, it could be marketing, it can be craftsmanship, plumbing, building houses, anything. Any skill can be built, but is your constant persistence to go after that thing that's really going to separate you from the crowd. So think about that child that just took the training wheels off of his bike. He can make it down the road a few feet, but it is his willingness to keep going time after time after he stumbles that's really going to make him be able to ride that bike. So in life, as you're starting to go after what you really want, you have to keep going. So just being persistent and how do you be persistent? Well, what's always helped me about being persistent is simple. I remember my why. So when you tell yourself in the morning that you don't want to get up and do the things that are going to bring you closer to your goal, remember why you started in the first place. And painting that picture for yourself is going to help drive you in the direction of where you want to go. So be persistent. And number three, the final thing that I feel that holds people back is lack of inspiration. So what happens when you're persistent and you start going up this hill and you're climbing after this big goal? Well, let me tell you, the closer you get, the harder it will become. And you're going to fall time and time again because nothing great happens easily. So it is staying inspired. That's been one of the things in my life that has really separated me from the person I was a few years ago to the person that I am now is being able to stay inspired. All the days that I was sitting there and writing and putting out my podcast and I felt like nobody was listening to me. But number one, I believed in myself. Number two, I stayed persistent. And in those times when I completely fell down, I picked myself up by keeping myself inspired. And one of the things that inspired me is right on the other side of my why. It's what happens if I don't achieve my dream? So thinking of the things that will come into my life if I don't make it to where I want to go, not being able to live the life that I feel that I was designed for, not being able to have the impact on this world that I know that I was put here for, 
That's what keeps me inspired. And so you take all of these three things together and remember that the belief in yourself is the first step to achieving your dreams. Your persistence and your willingness to go through challenge and keeping yourself inspired when the child falls off the bike. What inspires you to get back up and keep going? So take these three tips, go out there, go after it, and I'll see you all soon.